Hello students. All right, so today we're going to continue with um, 9.3 and we're going to look at auxin. So we established in the previous video that auxin is a hormone, is a plant hormone, and um, there are something called um, auxin efflux pumps that can set up concentration gradients of auxin in a plant tissue. So the amount of auxin found within a cell making a particular tissue is going to determine how that particular cell grows. So let's take a look at how that's done. So um, let me move this up a little bit more. All right, so auxins are a group of hormones and they are produced by the tip of a shoot or root. So we find um, auxin in the shoot, um, the apical, mer apical shoot meristem, or we find it in the root, the apical root meristem, and that's going to regulate growth. But notice that um, auxin has a different mechanism of action in the root versus the shoot. So in the shoot, auxin is actually going to stimulate cell elongation. It's going to allow for the cell to grow, and in this particular case, um, notice that growth is um, indicating that the cell is becoming larger, so it's not necessarily dividing via mitosis to form a new cell, it's just that the cell is becoming bigger, okay? Um, but notice that in the roots, auxin is inhibiting cell elongation. So if you happen to have high concentrations of auxin in the root, then that is going to mean that you're going to end up with small cells, and that is going to limit um, growth. So um, here we see the role of these auxin efflux pumps um, in growth patterns in plant shoots. So we're focusing here on the shoot and not the root. So let's pretend that these plant cells are part of a plant and let's say I have a pot here with this plant and um, I put this pot next to a windowsill and there's um, sun here that is shining on the left side of this plant. So then what does that mean? That means that um, these cells right here they are going to um, the or the uh, auxin efflux pumps that are found within this membrane of this cell, they're going to shift direction. And the auxin is going to pump um, from left to right. So then that means that these cells here on the right are going to elongate. They're going to become larger, and I'll show you how that happens um, in the next part of this uh, lesson. But this cell, notice how it's becoming larger, and as it elongates and becomes larger, it bends towards the light. So you've noticed how plants are able to do that, right? How are they able to bend towards the light? And that's because they have these um, auxin efflux pumps and um, it allows certain cells to become um, taller and bend. And that's how plants bend towards the light. Now, if the cells, um, within the, the, the shoot meristem have equal auxin distribution, um, then the plant is just going to grow evenly, okay, straight, evenly. Now let's um, replicate the same experiment and let's say that this is a plant growing next to a windowsill and then now the sun is on the right side of this plant. So what's going to happen? Well, these um, cells here are going to use their auxin efflux pumps and they are going to pump from the right to the left. And that means that these cells here are going to grow, uh, uh, are going to grow larger and they are going to bend the plant towards the light. Okay? And of course, that's the, what that's what the plant is looking for, right? It's looking for light for um, for photosynthesis. Um, now, how does that happen? How does that growth happen? So we know that the growth pattern is different in the root and in the shoot, but the growth pattern or the growth rate is all as, is all a result of gene expression. 
So auxin being a hormone or being a protein is going to change the pattern of gene expression within a plant cell. So here we're going to see how that happens. So it's it's not we're not going to go and focus down to the DNA level, but we see how auxin being that hormone is targeting a um it's targeting a, a, a protein here, okay? And this protein is a hydrogen pump protein embedded within a membrane. So here we see the mechanism of auxin action in plant shoots, because remember, it's different in the roots. So here we see auxin. Auxin is the hormone, hormone. And here we see the membrane. And here we see the cell wall. And here we see the inside of the cell where there's cytoplasm. So um, again, this picture here is showing you the location here of where you would find this hydrogen pump. Now, if you look here, here we see the membrane again. Here we see the cell wall. And then here we see the vacuole. And the vacuole is storing water. So auxin, this hormone, targets this um, protein or this hydrogen pump. So that's what we mean by affecting or changing the pattern of gene expression because it's affecting a protein. So then what's going to happen? This hydrogen pump is going to pump hydrogens from the cytoplasm to the cell wall. Now, when you pump these hydrogens into the cell wall, um, what's going to happen? You're going to decrease the pH um, within the cell wall. And when you decrease the pH within the cell wall, this is going to loosen up some of the cellulose fibers. Cellulose fibers. Okay? And this is also going to activate um, these, um, these other proteins called expansins. Expansins. So... Um, now we're seeing how auxin is affecting the expression of this other protein, right? So that's what we mean by um, auxin changing the pattern of gene expression, okay? So when you have a high concentration of hydrogen ions within the cell wall, this is going to activate these expansins which um, what end up doing is they increase the elasticity of the cell wall. So they make the cell wall become very elastic. So now you have an elastic cell wall. Notice how the cellulose here, um, which is what makes up most of the um, cell wall, right, are very loose now because of the drop in pH and are also very elastic because of the activation of these expansins. So then what does that mean? Well, it means that the cell wall is now more flexible. And if the cell wall is now more flexible, it's going to allow, um, I'm actually going the other way, sorry. It's going to allow more uh, water to come inside the cell. So as more water comes inside the cell, that tiny little vacuole that was there before starts to grow. So as the vacuole expands, see, so does the cell wall. So the cell, obviously there needs to be a, a growth mechanism here of the cell wall as more cellulose is added, but we're not getting into all that detail. But um, the cell, just know that the cell just starts to grow as more water accumulates inside the vacuole, right? So this is the vacuole. As the, um, expansins allow for more elasticity of the cellulose fibers, then the cell wall also begins to expand. Um, and we're not getting into how the cell membrane also grows, right? But there needs to be a mechanism by which the cell membrane also grows and allows for more phospholipids to be added here. So what this is saying is that this one tiny little hormone called auxin is affecting the gene expression of this cell.
because many things are happening, right? The, the hormone is affecting the proton pump, which is affecting the production of this protein or these expansins, which is affecting the elasticity of the cell wall, which is affecting the mechanism by which this cell membrane right here is also growing, okay? So auxin in the shoot of the plant um, has a, 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 a very strong um, primary growth component for this plant. But remember that when I say growth of the cell or of the plant, I mean that they're increasing their size and not necessarily mitotically dividing, which could is also a possibility. Um, but not within this mechanism that I explained just now.